Dub C here, and we're back with another Survival Saturday. We're starting on Friday night again because I'm doing another over, uh, solo overnight. I actually uh, was trying to find a better camp so I could build up and more permanent shelter, but I didn't have time, so I'm limited to my normal campsite. But I'm going to take this crossbeam down. I did have a just a regular tarp affixed to this, and it made a good shelter. It worked out pretty good. But I can take this down because I'm going to try something new. This is the Gold Armor Tent Fly. Actually, uh, Ryan Outdoors, a great channel, sent this to me to try out. Um, he does a lot of outdoor stuff. Please go check out his channel. If you like it, subscribe. Really, uh, really interesting. I, I watch his channel a lot to see what he does and how he does things. Uh, been working out so far, helping me do stuff out in the, the wild. So, again, this is the Gold Armor Tent Fly. Uh, we'll do some configurations with it. Really excited to try it out. Next thing we got is a battery backup. Not really a survivor item per se, but nice currently with the technology and our devices we have, like if I film with my phone, uh, battery dies and I'm doing overnights and out in the woods a lot, I need to recharge it. So I got one of these and I tried it for a couple weeks. I wanna give some feedback on that and do a review on it. Next item, it's Mountain House. It's one thing I haven't tried on the channel yet. I have actually uh, tried a packet gourmet and next mile meals, but found this uh, interesting meal. This is the spicy Southwest style skillet. So I want to try that out. Um, and then we're going to, I got a special dessert planned. I'll just show that. Now when this film airs, just a reminder, Minotaur Training Company's got 28 menu two Poseidons up on the website. Should be right around the time that this air or uh, right before. But also, they also got mystery boxes. I don't know how about you guys, but I get geeked when I see them, I hear about a mystery box. I love getting them. Never know what you're going to get. That's why I like MREs, so to speak, because you get an MRE, you don't know what you're going to get. You just get like a title, and then you open it up, and it's a surprise. Really cool, you know, just check out the website, Minotaur Trading Company. They said if you want a Poseidon, they're going back up, menu two. Uh, they were sold out. And then mystery boxes. Really awesome. You need to check those out. Use Dub C for 10% off your whole, entire order. Just go ahead and check that out. Also, stay tuned. I will be drawing the winner of my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. And again, thank everyone for your support. And this is my way to give back. So just stay tuned for the winner. So we'll start with the battery backup. So this is a Tranmix battery backup. Weighs about a pound, so it is kind of bulky. Um, it does have a flashlight. And the flashlight has three modes. It's waterproof, dustproof, shockproof. And it has a solar panel charger. Um, it charges in about six hours. So pretty quick, six and a half hours. Um, I char charged it up a few times. I tested a few times. One of the interesting things is no matter, uh, you know, if you have a little bit of light, a little bit of sun, it's going to pick that up and it's always going to be using like a residual charge with the solar panel. I found that pretty interesting and very helpful. Now, I don't know how long it would take to charge the battery from zero to full with the solar panel, but I do know that the solar panel residual charging does help because throughout the week, I charged my phone approximately eight times without even needing a charge. And this was just sitting in my room, uh, getting extra light or, you know, when the sunlight would hit it, it would residually charge. Uh, what also cool is you can charge headlamps through the ports because it has two USB ports. I don't know if you can see it. So it has two USB ports. One's actually an ultra charge 3.0. It has the uh, C type C USB. And then uh, basically these are the in ports in which you would charge it. And then this is where the outports where you charge your devices, such as laptops, um, iPads. I, I charge my phone. The phone I charged about eight times with it was an S9 Plus. I heard there's varied revo results with uh, iPhones and so on. But everybody seems to be getting six to eight charges off it. There are some details as far as the amperage. And it does have a wireless charging mode. So you can just set your phone on top of this and it will charge I did notice the charge is much slower than if you use the Ultra Charge 3.0 or the standard charge. Uh, the light actually has three functions. If you hold it, you get your basic light. Then if you tap it once, it does a, a minor strobe. And if you tap it again, it does a uh, more intense strobe. And you just hold it to turn it off. And like I said, it residually charges uh, when it's not in action. But overall, I really enjoy this device and uh, it's got like a little hook right here you can hook to your backpack so as you're hiking or walking around outside it can get a charge so very very in my opinion very good product i will have the link down below if you're interested it is a bulky that's probably its biggest con is it's bulky but it's durable uh, it's been through some shakes around and some walks and some hikes and still just fine 
Uh, so it does come with this cable, a type C cable. So if you wanted other cables, you might have to purchase other ones, but this cable, it, it comes with the, alt, like this is the ultra charge cable. So it works really well with my phone. Um, obviously this isn't gonna work with the iPhone, so you'd have to have your own charger. But that's what, how it comes with it. And I, like I said, really good product, really helpful for, you know, if you're filming outdoors or being outdoors for long periods of time. Now, while we're down here, I wanted to do a quick semi-unboxing of the Gold Armor temp line. So kind of get in here and see what we got. It's a gray color. We kind of see what's in the package. It comes out and it's a 10 by 12 tarp. We'll do some configurations with it. The one thing that I find most interesting is it has the uh, 33 uh, points where you can affix to it. So we got a little bag and it's got a bunch of the, I think that's the line for the points because I think there's a 135 inch uh, they call it a fly line it's got four stakes pretty lightweight pretty be easy to use and yeah I think this is the fly line or maybe it's still in this it's got a cool logo it's a gray color it's made of a ripstop material the bag overall weighs about two pounds all right so we're gonna set up the gold armor tent real quick um, I'm going to do the basic configuration first, but there's uh, several configurations we can do, like a tent, uh, but I'm running out of daylight, so I want to get a basic shelter built so I can sleep in it tonight. We're going to build a shelter, build a fire, and then we should be good to go. First thing I do is take down this pole. Um, it did come down with six tie-downs and four stakes, but I have my own paracord too, so I might just use that because I don't like the, uh, the bright yellow um, tie-downs. So I'm going to get started. All right, now we got the pole taken out. I'm gonna take some paracord, run it across, and set it up so I have not just a, similar to my same structure I had last Survival Saturday. Um, kind of have it in the back and then have a nice front so I can be exposed to the fire and stay warm with the fire. All right, so I did um, end up doing one configuration. This is your standard tent configuration just because I wanted to play around with it a little bit. Like I said, I'll do a couple more, uh, but there's a ton of room under this thing. Uh, pros is a lot of more room. The bad is there's no ground cover. So, but I'll give a quick uh, picture of the inside. And I had to kind of move some stuff around, but again, first time using it, set it up. It was very quick and easy to set up. So you can see from the uh, photo, it's got a lot of room in there. Now here's the cool thing. You can actually affix here with more ridge line or guidelines and actually make more room coming out. And that's why I really like having the uh, fixed points inside the, you know, the middle of the actual tarp. Really strong material feeling. I really like the logo on it, it's really cool. But I'm gonna go ahead and set up to the next configuration, uh, which we can ex actually be exposed to the fire and get a nice heat. Uh, feeling off it. So we moved on to this configuration. Um, I actually tied it off in the back a few spots. It's not the prettiest. I need a little more practice as far as setting this up, but it's pretty simple. It's just about getting the right spots tied off, uh, but there's a lot more room. Another thing is, you know, we've got a lot of no ground cover, but I got my thermarest pad, so that's not a big deal. I'm going to go ahead and get a fire going, and uh, this is camp for the night. All right, go ahead and uh... Get my fire stuff out. So I'm using the fire tender from Minotaur Training Company. Got a ferro rod. And this also, this device comes from Minotaur Training Company too. It's got a ferro rod on it, uh, but the stri I really like the striker. So we'll get that ready to go. It's really nice having everything right on that side with that SE6 knife sheath. Throw down some of this flint, or the fire tender. Here we go. All right, so we got our fire going. It's gonna get pretty cold tonight. Close to like 45 degrees. 
Um, that's Michigan for you. One day it's 90, next thing you know it's uh, 40 degrees at night. So it's okay, I'm gonna keep a hot fire the rest of the night. I got my shelter. Um, gonna, when we wake up in the morning, I'm going to review the mountain house. And then I got that special dessert I'll show you. And then we got the contest drawing. So stay tuned. Morning time. It got kind of cold last night, so I changed the configuration of the tent. I just brought down the sides and then cinched it at the top. Worked really well, closed off that airflow, and uh, I just laid this way as opposed to laying across. Um, fire kept me warm, but with that airflow, it's not helping. So I just closed it off. And this thing, this thing's great. This gold armor tarp, you can do whatever you imagine as far as having the tie downs. Because I, I don't even know if this is a a configuration so to speak but I just tied off at the top cinch to the bottom and it worked out great but I'm hungry now because it's breakfast time so I'm gonna go and uh, start cooking up this mountain house adventure meal all right so we got the spicy southwest style skillet it's got potatoes shredded beef black beans green chilies vegetables it's all freeze-dried um, I do like mountain house haven't tried it in a while so all you have to do is add water wait 10 minutes now JW speaker he does say stir at five minutes I've been doing that on the other freeze-dried meals works out really well um, here's the nutrition but very easy to make just add the water take out the action tab good to go now for dessert I'm gonna have uh, one, of the, one of the dessert entries on the contest. Now, I, I may not be able to enter because I'm a judge, but I do get to try some of these wonderful recipes. So I'll be making a um, spicy peanut butter icing that I thought was very intriguing um, after we get this made up. And then I'm also going to have some um, red taster choice, thanks to Jack of Trades. Thank you so much. Um, he has a couple recipe, uh, recipes made up uh, on his channel now. You definitely want to check them out. I'm going to do a quick damage report on the Ozark mess kit. So uh, I always like to give feedback as I continued use. And the rivet did pop out of this side. I put a nut and bolt in there just to keep it going. But just be aware, I mean, like I said, one of my biggest fears when I did review it was the durability. And I was able to fix it this time, but... Let's see how long it keeps going. I, I always try to provide feedback when stuff uh, breaks down to me. We're going to make this um, spicy peanut butter icing. It was a contrast entry via email. I uh, want to take the opportunity to try it. Like I said, I can't enter in it, but I get to try these goodies. So what it consists of is cream cheese, cream cheese icing, packet of peanut butter as well, um, and then we have the spices. I got cinnamon, but I put the cayenne pepper inside the cinnamon for this one. And then powdered sugar. And I got a true lime. Once the icing's done, we're going to put the powdered sugar and the true lime on top of the uh, oatmeal cookie and see how it turns out. All right, so we'll start off with the cream cheese icing. I'm just going to put it all in uh, this cup and mix it up. But just so it show you can do, you know, these recipes out here, in the field. Well, you got the cream cheese icing. I should have needed it some, but I did not. So if you do this, always need need the package. Makes it easier. Okay, get everything. You don't want to miss out on any of the cream cheese icing. Then the peanut butter. Make sure and try to warm that up. It is pretty cold out here. It got down to 44, and then it's I think it's starting to round out about 50, 55 right now. So, okay, we got the peanut butter. And you just kind of mix it all together from my understanding. Once we get all in there, more. And this is going to mix the cream cheese icing and the peanut butter together. 
which is a fantastic combo in and by itself. Then you add cayenne pepper and cinnamon. So what I've done is I've added a teaspoon of the cayenne pepper and um, a teaspoon of cinnamon in this jar that I had. And you just toss in there. So it's a mixture of cayenne pepper and cinnamon. And that's what really intrigued me because it's like a spicy, sweet spicy. All right, I got the mixture done. So I'm going to place it on top of oatmeal cookies. I think the um, entry was done over sugar cookies, but I think it can go over both. I want to have oatmeal cookies, so I want to try these. So once you get the mixture all set, then place your cookies out, and you just top them. So we can take a little bit of frosting, top them. You can make a sandwich out of it too. I thought about that, like a like a peanut butter sandwich type deal. So we got the eight, and we'll just top these all up. And the water should be done boiling. So after we get these all made up, we're going to make up the meal. Real easy. Just topping them up. And then we're going to add the powdered sugar and the true lime. Last a little bit. Boom. Not perfect or anything, but it works out good. We have the true lime now, just to give it a little zest. I like all the contrast ideas to this. So I'm adding a sprinkle of true lime to all the cookies with the spicy peanut butter frosting. And now, I add the powdered sugar. I don't know about you guys, but these look fantastic. All right, we got our boiling water. So, just go ahead and pop this open. Gets... That's what it looks like um, uncooked. Very um, interesting. We got the beans, the hash browns. I almost thought this it may, this may be a breakfast menu. I'm not sure, but it. Um, I don't know. I've had breakfast for dinner, and now I'm having dinner for breakfast. I don't know fine it'll all be good so adding it wants uh, this is about seven ounces of container right here and wants the 12 ounces but I might add a little bit lower just to mix you know just to make sure and then I'll give it a quick mix I'll use the rest of the hot water for my coffee it looks like it's already gonna need some more water so sucking all that water up real quick And then we're going to wait five minutes and stir it up. Because it says ten minutes, but um, I said JW Speaker said mix it at halfway point, And it really helps it out. Alright, we're going to let it simmer. Figure why not make my coffee real quick. Got some Taster Choice Red. Some hot water. You might have to use perfect. This is gonna be awesome. Nothing like hot coffee on a cold morning. Okay, it's been five minutes. We're gonna give it another quick stir. It's got uh, all kinds of good mix in there. Throw a little mix on it and let it sit the other five minutes. Okay, it's been the full ten minutes. Check it out. You get a bite. I'm looking forward to this. It actually looks really good. It's got like um, red bell peppers, corn, like hash browns or potatoes, and looks like shredded beef. Yeah, let's get a bite. That is fantastic. It's really good. Um, if you like the breakfast skillet from uh, Mountain House, then you're gonna love this. It's like a dinner skillet. It it is spicy. It does have a nice little kick to it, probably like a Tabasco, a little bit higher. So that's impressive. It actually has a nice bite to it. Um, but the flavors all come out really well. Like I said, I really enjoy the breakfast skillet. And they just did a dinner skillet with the, you know, the, the black beans, the shredded beef, 
and potatoes. So really nice change up. Now I'm excited to try one of these cookies. So this is the spicy peanut butter dessert cookie. This is a contrast entry for the Minotaur Trading Company Gourmet MRE Cookbook. Let's give it a shot. All right, at first I do want to say I love this contest because I would never known about doing something like that with the components for MREs. I love all the ideas that everybody's coming up with, but that is awesome. So the peanut butter in the cream cheese icing make a peanut butter cream icing. This is awesome. Then you pair it with the cinnamon and the cayenne pepper for that bite from the like a, a sweet and spicy. And then you pair it with the true lime and give that that uh, like a citrus acid um, almost type contrast and then the powdered sugar. It was awesome. This was a great recipe and I'm excited to try more. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then we'll talk uh, more in Final Thoughts and do the winner for the contest drawing. Alright, so final thoughts on the items I reviewed. The first item I'll talk about is the spicy Southwest Skillet from Mountain House. Definitely stepped up their game. This is a great menu. If you like the breakfast skillet, you're going to like the dinner skillet. This is what I call it, the dinner skillet. Um, really good flavor. It has a nice spice to it, which sometimes they don't. But I definitely recommend this one. And another item I recommend is this battery backup. If you need a battery backup for outside, this is the one. I'll put all the links below for the items. But this one, like I said, it's tough. It's durable. It charged my phone uh, up to, I think, it was seven or eight times without a recharge. And I use it out here in the outdoors all the time. Very durable. It's got the solar residual power. It's got the hookup. A lot of good stuff. Then, it's gold armor tarp. This is probably my favorite item because it's so versatile. And you guys know I like versatile items as far as being able to change things up on the fly. From, you know, going several variations and configurations that you can do with that tarp. I want to get a hammock soon. And I want to kind of draw that out and actually put this over the hammock and try that out as well because it's, it's considered a tent fly and you're supposed to put over a hammock but look at all the other stuff I could do with it I also do have a uh, PO box now so if anybody wants to send items uh, to review or if you have suggestions for review go ahead and email me I will I'm definitely open to review items or if you want something checked out just send me an email uh, the emails in my about area and the PO box I'll uh, it's also in the about area but I'll throw a, a link up for the PO box in my description as well. Now it's time for the contrast drawing. So I take all the names that followed the rules, said megabyte because that was the golden word or the magic word, I placed them in here, I cut them all up, I'm going to stir them up real quick and we're going to draw a name. All right, tons of people in there. Let me go to the bottom and see what we get. Okay, the winner is Mark Swisher. Congratulations, Mark. Thank you for entering the contest. And I'm going to draw another name just in case Mark doesn't get back with me. Um, but Mark, go ahead and send an email. Let me know, and I'll uh, definitely get that Poseidon in your way. All right, we're going to draw the second place name and the backup name. Karen Miller is the backup name. So uh, Karen Miller, just send me an email. Uh, just like to have emails from Mark Swisher and Karen. It's Mark Swisher. And then the second place, back up, it's Karen. Oops. Trying to set him up. All right, so again, Mark Swisher, send an email to me. Karen Miller, send me an email. Um, at least I want to have both the contacts so I can send the Poseidon to Mark. And then, Karen, I can, uh, if Mark doesn't get a hold of me, I can, uh, you'll be next in line. So, I do want to thank everybody for your support. And just remember, if you didn't, just because you didn't win this Poseidon, there are 28 going up on the website today on Minotaur Training Company. Menu 2 Poseidons. Um, if that's not your thing, then there's mystery boxes as well. The mystery boxes have a big contest tied to them. I mean, who doesn't want to try and win uh, two MREs a week or something? 
And then there's one where you can make your own MREs. Got to be it. So mystery boxes uh, and the Poseidon are on the website. Use Dub C to get that 10% off. But thank you all for participating in the contest. Thanks for all your support. That's all I got now. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.